Let's jump right into it, YouTube. To make the plastic bag pattern, you just add the width of the handle to the sides of the bag. Or you can also download it from my website. The fabric I'm using has a seam, and it already is cut up from a gather skirt that I made. Uh, I'm using the seam area as, as the fold. So sheer fabric is very light and tends to shift around easily. Make sure to use a lot of pins and weights so that nothing shifts. Mm. Then I move all the pins to the inside of the pattern so that I can cut them out without shifting. The seam allowance that I use for the sides and the bottom are 1.5 and then all the other areas I just cut them off. No seam allowance. Mm -hmm. Now this part is the outside of the handle. So I'm going to baby hem the following areas, the outside of the handles, and then the tabs. And I will uh, do the bags opening the last. So this is how I do the baby hem, by hand. Mm -hmm. Because when I use the roller feet on the, on the sewing machine, it usually ends in disaster. So, uh, it's good to have a pin to help you anchor the, the end of the fabric. And then you double fold it and you make these teeny tiny stitches. I'm working on the wrong side of the fabric. Uh -huh, that that's the inside of the fabric, right? Yeah, that's the same thing. Okay, when you get to a corner, you just spread the corner out into a line, into a straight line. That that second pin is where I pin the where the corner is. Uh huh. Yeah, and then you just continue stitching. So after you baby hem the the bag's opening, um, you want to fold the tab like that. And then you sew two rows so that it stay in place. It look like this. Okay, so we're going to flip the bag over to the correct side and French seam the sides. So I'm going to go as close as I can to the handles. Uh -huh. And then I trim off the excess. Flip the back over to the correct side and sew to cover that seam. Wait, I flip the back to the wrong side. And so, mm -hmm. I get confused. Now, this is the correct side. Okay, now we will uh, fold the handle in half. And then we use that as a guide and fold all the way down to the bottom and pin them in place. Then you pin the bottom up and sew right across. Okay, after you trim off everything neatly, uh, you double fold the bottom. Now so that it looks like a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. And I sew like a rectangle all around. 
Mm. Oh, and also uh, sew the handle so that it doesn't unfold. So the tab, I did I tell you that? I cut off that pointy part because it was so hard to baby him. It looks cute this way too. So this is really lightweight and if you like you can carry it in your handbag or in your back pocket, I don't know. So you just fold it up, roll them up and use one of the handles, you know, to hold it in place. And if you want, you can you know, make it fancy and sew on some roses, beads, embroidery patches. Mm -hmm. It's quite straightforward here, just sew them on. So I like these roses, but uh, the backing is white and it shows, you know, so I don't know, I might take them off, but it looks nice. Mm. And, and that's it, and thanks for watching.